Here is a graph that shows my awesome chocolate sales by individual salespeople. And I would like to add an average line on the graph so that we can quickly identify which salespeople have exceeded overall average sales. Let's see how to do that in Excel. To start off, we need to add an extra calculation column here that tells us what the overall average is. So we can call this whatever. I'm going to call this as AVG. And here the formula will be average of all of these numbers because we want the same formula all the way through i will type this data and press f4 to make it an absolute reference and then just copy this down so that you have the same number all the way through once this number is there we will then select this and in add it to the chart you can do it in a few different ways my favorite is select all of this data Control c select the graph and then control V because our graph is a column chart these extra averages will also be added as a column now all we want to do is convert these columns into a line so right click on the column and then just say change series chart type and from here set the average series to be a line and then click OK so we will get a line like this because it is just a line, I can format it. So I'm going to format it in dark black color with a dotted line. So we simply select this, go to the format ribbon from shape outline, change the color to something like that, and then introduce dashes. And there is your average line. If you would like to print a data label on the average line, you can also do that very quickly. All you have to do is select this line and then click again on a single point and then use the plus button to add a data label. The data label will go to the side, but you can open the format options of that, right click and then format data label and just put it above so that it shows up there. You can again color code this to indicate what that average is. And there is our average line. Now we can clearly see that Gunnar, Hussein and Obi need some coaching so that they can also catch up with the rest of the team. And now your charts won't look average anymore. If you want one more trick, check out this one on how to highlight the top five elements for your charts. It is pretty useful. I'll catch you there. Bye-bye.